This Minecraft server is called Lifesteal because for every death, you permanently lose hearts. And while everyone else was scrambling for their life trying to survive, I was there thinking, hold on, you know what the server needs? Communism. So this is how I created the most powerful communist team on the Lifesteal SMP. Hold on, first you might be thinking, why? Great question. You see, everyone on the server thought I was weak and not a threat at all. No, it's, it's Clutch and Ash. Clutch and Ash? Bro, this is a free fight. I needed to prove these people wrong. Next, you might be thinking, well, Ash, why communism? Listen, my young Padawan, this SMP is literally about stealing hearts, taking from others, being greedy, keeping everything for yourself. Bruh, that's Amazon's job description. I may love money everywhere else, but right here, I needed to destroy it. So you see, it all started when I realized I needed a group to help me stay alive on the server. So the first thing I did when I logged on was get teammates. How did I get teammates, you ask? Why I used the age-old socializing technique, of course. Exactly. Joining a random Discord voice call and forcing everyone to be on a team with me. Hey guys, right nice up. meeting you. Uh, by the way, you're all communists now. What? what? Perfect. My first problem, as always, was my horrible connection to the server. Jeez. And this lag caused me to die in stupid ways, like this. It's gonna go far away. Yeah. More diamonds, okay. What? Bro, what the? But things got worse when we realized that one member of the so-called communists mysteriously left the call and was seen next with an enemy. See, it would have helped if I was told that this guy was making alliances before I decided to get aggressive. Do you want to be main well, characters or not? Do you want to be main characters or not? Because this aggressiveness led to the goofiest Minecraft chase that somehow ended up with me almost getting hunted down. But you know what the best part is? I survived that hunt because of the lag I complained about earlier. Oh yikes, it's lagging. It's lagging so hard. Three, two, one, go. I see you. He's behind me. He was nice. Yes! Yes, sir! Clutching at? Bro, this is a free fight. Let's get Rochambeau. Let's get Rochambeau. He's an easy kill. I feel like he's gonna get more Let's go! Free fight. After killing that traitor and a random capitalist, the communists were on top, meaning we were prime targets for everyone on the server. So we had to be extra careful while carrying out our plans to take over the SMP. Step two to world domination was sending a message. You see, the other team, our enemies, the capitalists, had created an entire city at spawn called Capital City with a bell in the center. So our plan was to steal it. And we did. But turns out theft doesn't make people very happy. Because this is Leo, who was not a capitalist but not on our side either. So when he asked me to join the server and see his base, I wasn't suspicious at all. Surprise, 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 it was an ambush by the capitalists who wanted revenge on me for stealing their belt. Who would have seen this coming? <laughs> Not me. I'm a horrible actor. But anyway, I couldn't fight back. Why you ask? Because I'm bad at PvP? No, no, no. I'm cracked at PvP. I'm the Barack Obama of PvP. Speaking of which, just found out I have less YouTube subs than him, which is unacceptable. Everyone hit that filthy red subscribe button right now so we can beat BarackObama.com. Anyway, I escaped the real ambush without losing anything so I could finally focus on communist world domination. So step three was getting as many hearts as we could. Mm. I knew I needed to do something crazy, something absolutely unthinkable to get the most number of hearts. And I did. Listen, after some crazy testing, we found a glitch in the Lifesteal plugin and discovered that shooting and killing yourself with a bow can give you infinite hearts. I thought that this would change everything. I could finally get rich and take over the entire city. Yeah, you can imagine the owner wasn't very happy when he found out about the glitch, so we were forced not to use it. So there I was, thinking of a way to get hearts and establish communist dominance at the same time, when suddenly, as if God himself made it happen, I heard the capitalists had replaced their bell at spawn. This was a perfect opportunity to steal it again, so I made my way there expecting an easy heist, but it turns out that one capitalist called Pangy was there guarding the bell. Taking this fight when I was at 9 hearts would be a stupid decision, just for a stupid bell. A normal human being at my position would just retreat and go home. I'm not normal. <laughs> the capitalist. The capitalist. What? Wait, wait. No, 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 Wait, what? What? How? He lagged. <gasps> yes! Let's go! This was an absolute win. Not only did ambushing the capitalists bring me the full 10 hearts making me one of the strongest on the server, I was also able to steal the bell. So that's it, right? We've successfully established dominance. And we won. Yeah, not quite. You see, we had one last problem to deal with that would finally put us on top. Stealing the bell attracted one final capitalist to try and execute me personally. Don Turnt came to me with a business idea. And at the time, I had no idea whose side he was on, so I followed him. Big mistake. No, Ouch, no, come and look no. at this. Oh, whoa, this is awesome. I got ambushed. Right. Ah! Ah! 
so now in order to truly sit at the top, I had to punish the man who did this. Now revenge is a dish best served cold, so step one was waiting, waiting for a couple of days so I could catch the dude off guard. So now I had to figure out the best way to kill him, which is when I saw this. <laughs> One of my friends on the SMP had built a giant door statue near the capital city. Now, not only was its location near spawn perfect to lure people in, but it was also the perfect trap. You see, my beloved swagsters, yeah, I'm calling you that now. A giant battle arena built several blocks beneath it. So the plan was to lure Don Thornt, the guy who betrayed me, into the battle arena and end his life. To truly prove communist victory. But how am I, who nobody trusts, gonna lure people in? Great question, because that's where my friend comes in. Zam was liked by everyone, so all he needed to do was convince Don to come and duel him beneath the door. So once he had him down there, it was finally time to trap. Here we go. Three, two, one. But this is life steal. Nothing goes according to plan. Okay, well that didn't work. Okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> Sam's trap to kill Don had just failed, and it looked like the ambush was lost, and that communism would never get its revenge. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I knew exactly something like this would happen, so five minutes before the ambush, I dug into the walls of the battle arena below the door and sat there crouched waiting for the fight to happen, and when the trap failed and with Don in the perfect position, it was game over. No. Don <laughs> What? <laughs> 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 <laughs>